What's going on everybody? This is the Uncharted Vapor and today I'm bringing you another product review on a device that I picked up personally for the purposes of this review. It's been talked about two renditions, 770 and the Pro Edition with the DNA60 chipset. I picked up the DNA60 Edition which is called the Subbox Pro by SXK. Now, I love DNA chips, so with that, let's take this, dive down, break it down, and then bring it back up on top and talk some more about it. So I'll see you down low. so it's in my other envelope because I got another little envelope with it um, this was a special pre-order from SXK um, that we've been waiting on for a while so let's go ahead and open this up what did I get uh, opening this little package that came with it up so um, let's see what it is all right so I need to cut more Alright. I mean, I swear to God, if this is Chinese tape, this tape don't want to come off. There we go. Got it. Alright, so what is this? Nothing, because it won't come out. Alright. Oh, okay. It's the Boro tank for it. It's their special Boro tank that they made for it. Um, which is, if you're familiar, it's like the vape snail. Okay, and to give you an idea, it's similar, but it's not the same. So if you look at them, they're very similar in lookage. But this is a boro tank, but it just has a fill port up top, so you don't have to separate it. And then you're supposed to be able to put a bridge in. So let's find out if that'll work, because I got one sitting right here, which is the um, um. Jesus, my brain farted. The hair, RBA. So let's see if the hair will fit inside of here. Okay, so the hair fits on the bottom portion. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Let's, okay, do I put it backwards? What's going on here? It will not fit with the hair. It is hitting the hair. So, if you have any tank... So this sucks. This thing is fucking worthless. So thank God it came free because it's trash. Um, anything that has a cylindrical shape to it. So here's the Zeta. And it won't even go past the Zeta. It's the only two bridges I've got up here with me right now. Uh, but yeah, basically anything with a cylindrical shape, it's not going to work. So this will probably work with something like the vape shell, maybe, if it'll even fit inside. Um, it should fit with the Exoset. And it should hopefully fit with the um, with the Exoset V2 um, and the bridged. Let's just look. Where will it sit? It might not even fit with the bridged because it's too thick. Anyway, so there, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and quickly open this up. Pretty upsetting with that boil tank. Thank God I didn't buy it. And that, you know, it does run other boros. So. Zoom back up some. Right there. There we go. All right. So, unwrap that. Let's 
take off the sleeve. Subbox Pro Evolved DNA made by SXK. We got a little stand up. That's pretty cool. On the back side, Subbox Pro DNA 61 to 60 watts, 0 0.1 to 3 ohms, 18650 not included. 510 connector, unit tank, outer case for atomizer, USB charging cable, manual, etc. Freeze frame that. Okay, there you go. So, everybody's messaging me now, I'm trying to see if I got it. Alright, so there it is. It's opened up. There's the box. Alright, so this is the accessory card. They say that it's supposed to be able to fit these following bridges inside. The Insider, the Crossbow, the Karma. You know what? Matter of fact, I had one in a trade. Let's look. There's the Karma. Made by SXK. Where's that gay ass fucking tank at? Where did I throw it? Do it somewhere. It gives you extra O-rings like that fucking matters. Alright, there's that. Alright, here's the Karma. So let's put it in. Alright, SK, okay. you suck fucking dick balls. I'm gonna tell you that shit right now. This is your own fucking product and it doesn't fit inside this fucking tank. Get your shit together. You know, it's it's too fucking easy to make a boro tank if you're making a boro device. Thank God I don't fucking run these fucking clones. You know, I've got real shit, you know, but even the real ones won't even fit in here, so thank God I got boro tanks because this piece of shit trash so inside the box is the sleeve so yeah they're ban oh, bantam box tank is what they're calling it it will not fit the karma bridge it most likely won't fit the exo set it most likely won't fit the bridge it might fit the billet box gin which is a coil adapter and it definitely is not going to fit the insider um, and then the other ones, the AIO, the atomizer, the box, etc. It just gives you the information on it, okay? Alright, here's all the stuff that comes in it. O-rings, lots of them. Another trashed fucking tank that I won't use because it's no damn good. It comes with a coil of their own, which is basically an RPM coil, but if I remember right, this is a 1 ohm coil. Yeah, 1.1, but to give you an idea, to show you what this coil looks like and what that one looks like. The only difference is a clear orange to red, and they're the same fucking coil. One's just a 1 ohm coil, and they just, they don't tell you that it's a smock coil. It's what it is. It's the smock version. There's the USB, there's the riser if you need it for a tank, the drip tip, the atomizer tank, and here's the device itself. So let's see what it feels like. I, yeah, I, I did watch Jay Hayes' review. It's the only review I've seen so far of it, but I want to see what you're talking about the feel. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. It's a smooth but rough, grainy feeling. Okay. But then he said the threading, well my threading doesn't seem too bad, actually. Seems pretty good. Pop that off, there's that. Now you can buy the adapter where this tube goes down to an 18350 and it just comes out, okay? So there, there you go. Um, pretty easy. Quick quickly he goes in but the threads are sharp I'm not gonna lie they are pretty sharp um, the tank it just seems like it has a lot of material on it but 
Here's their other tank, which is for their coil. All right, so this one is a 0.6 ohm mesh coil, which is another RPM coil, and then you have a one ohm coil that comes with it. You can't use anything else inside of this but that. So there's that. Um, fill it up here. It wicks at the bottom. And yeah, there you go. So there's the, the pre-tank. Um, boro tanks. Here's a boro tank. Well, let me get one with a glass on it. I thought I had put glass on this one. Okay. Let's clean this glass off. It looks like it's been through hell and back. But let's go ahead and slide this in. All right. So... Alright, so there's a boro in there. Okay, slide it down. And then, ooh, the ring comes up. That's pretty cool. Um, and then their lock nut, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's pretty neat to have a lock nut for it. Um, but it does move so I don't know if that's really gonna honestly work let's try something take this out let's take the glass out let's go ahead and put in the hair RBA inside of this let's just slap it in there okay well, let's do it the right way put the hair RBA in Alright. If this thing becomes only a side by side, then I'm going to fucking slam the shit out of this thing. It's going to be the biggest piece of junk. I'll probably go right back for sale. Alright, there's that. Alright. So, glass back on. Just to show it. Back into where to go. The boro holder. Okay. Slip it back down. Make sure your piece is back on. There you go. Good job. Alright. So. All right, so there we go. Okay, I forgot about that. Make sure your battery cap is on. So, you learn as you go along. It's okay, you know, but tighten your battery cap down so you lock, you know, your, your rig down. Alright, there we go. And then you gotta make sure your boro is lined up with the O-ring for their lockup. Cause it's not gonna work with the billet box one. Now I see what he's talking about, these threads are horrible. But there we go. Seems like it's threading down. Okay. Looks like it locked down. So. I'm just going to take my section off anyway to put a battery in. See if this thing works right. So I'm assuming positive down, negative up. Yeah, I guess that's what the orientation means. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so make sure you put your battery in first. Thing such a pain in the butt. I am not gonna lie. Then just tighten your tank down. The the knurling is the only thing that's really helping on this. But as you can see, as I do it, it's kind of like dusting up, which is like my finger is like coming off, but it's like smoothing it out as I do it because it's really smooth on top. Sides a little different. There's that. That's almost down. Okay. So let's see. Evolve DNA 60. Bring it down to 22.5. And it's working. Ohms too. Ohms too low. What is it ohming out to? 0.03. There's no way it's a 0.03. It's got over a one ohm build in it. Check atomizer. Okay. Tighten it down the rest of the way. Okay. Okay, so yeah, lots of issues with this thing. It's not reading my coil, so maybe I just need to update it first. But yeah, that's basically the unboxing, the supply tank that comes with it. It's only going to work with something decent, like that's flat and has just a chimney section. Otherwise, it's too thin and you need a boro tank in order to run the device, okay? Um, I know this coil itself is over one ohm inside. Um, that's inside of this. So, take that off. It didn't even heat up the coil. Well, how about that? It says it had 0.3 ohm coil in it, and there's no damn coil in this. That's real brilliant of it. Okay, I got a coil in this one. So let's check out the Zeta. See what it says with the Zeta. Pop it in. Drop it in. This should be over an ohm. Okay. There we go. So this is the real Haku Zeta. This is not the cloned version. Oh, right. Sir, lock that in. Let's try it one more time. All right, there's that. Let's drop our battery back in. A little grainy now I can feel the graininess of it now let's put the 510 or a locking nut for the boro tank on sorry guys this is like a 20 minute video and this is about as far as it's gonna go um, for this thing I don't have glass on it I don't need glass on it to show that it's glowing because that's what I want to do anyway um, evolve DNA 60 it says it's a 1.96 ohm coil and I'm gonna tell you right now at 22 and a half watts you can see right there it's lighting that thing up at 22 and a half at 1.94 I have never seen it ohm that high before so I don't know if it just needs an update or what. 
if it's just the connection that it has. Um, guys, I'll just be honest with you. It is... It's a good device for everything you're going to get with it. All right, so here we are back up on top. So pros and cons on the device. So DNA 60, um, a lot, a lot of good features on this thing, okay? You have the ability to run it in what they call side-by-side -side or SBS mode, which means you can run your own tank or a dripper on it. Um, or you can run a borrow style device, whether it's out of, say, the Bantam box, which some people have a lot of controversy over, or the Billet box. Um, some people don't like the fact that these devices are coming out, but guess what? Too bad. Just get over it because too many companies are doing it now. You have, you know, so many devices out there that are starting to come in to run a borrow tank. So with that, I've got in here loaded today the Hellfire Exocet V2, which, like I said, is ohming at a 1.61 until you heat it up and 1.62 running around 6 volts. At 22 watts. So you can see here on the bottom of my screen, it's only 22 watts. So tremendous flavor. Off of it so let's get into pros and cons pros the ability to run side by side borrow tanks and it's a DNA 60 DNA 60 allows me to do a lot of changes on it like if I want to see my hit counts yes it's not a color screen but it's fine it's one of the more reliable chips more accurate most of the time still can do temp control um, actually had built into it already curves for wires like 316, titanium, was already built into it. So it was amazing. So it already had the pre-built curves into it, which just means how it ramps and everything, okay? Um, it is pretty easy to separate, but here's here's where the cons are going to come in. So with the Subbot Pro, you get this, let me put it back together real quick. You get this two-piece tank. It's their version of the Boro tank for them. All right, so it separates in the center. Okay, big issue with this thing. They say you can run like the Insider, and this is similar to an Insider. This is the Hair RBA. And it does not fit because the cap hits it, okay? The only thing I noticed that would work inside of this without any issues, zero not at all, was the vape shell. Um, I put in the Exocet, but it had a little space in there, so it still moved a little bit. It wasn't, you know, very good, so it leaked a little bit out of there, so it was just too much. Second thing is the gasket on top is not that good on it, so if you go to pop it, the, go to refill it like they say it's supposed to be easy refill, crap. So... Those are cons to me on that already off the break. Second thing is, the machining on the threads is very not well done. It's it's okay, but it's not great. Um, the way they designed it also is that you have to use what's proprietary. You have to use their locking nut in order to lock a boral tank on. And... The knurling on this is so sharp that it literally took the skin off the side of my finger just trying to get it to screw back down. And depending on what bridge you have inside of it, if it's a bridge that sits a little bit higher, you know, the chimney section, it's a pain to get it to sit down. And the way it locks down is by the battery cap. So if you got to re-wick and do everything, you got to take the battery cap off or the tank's leaking. you got to take the battery cap off, pull the whole thing off. Then you got to take it, put your finger underneath, pop your tank off so the O-ring doesn't grab your chimney and dump juice the rest of the way. So those are my cons on this. Um, the pros, it feels decent in the hand. It, it does feel decent. Um, for me, having smaller hands, I have no problem firing it. Airflow is all in the front of the um, Boro tank and a little bit of air on the back side. That's about it. So 
It does keep a slightly restrictive airflow and some on the top, so it kind of goes around. But you can't use anything like um, a condensation plug, you know. So I, I don't recommend purging this too much because of the fact that you're going to purge it right down to the bottom and right underneath of that is the chipset. So, just give truthful, honest, non-plastic reviews, okay? And what that means is I'm going to review an item direct. And I'm going to tell you pros, I'm going to tell you cons, whether you like it or not. So, everything's going to have a flaw somewhere, you know, no matter what it is. Billet boxes, I could tell you the flaw on them. They don't have a USB port on them. But the SXK version does, but the Authentics don't. This is an SXK, and I've got a USB port on it, so I can hook up the hardware. I don't have to open my billet box up and put a, a dongle switch in it. So, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's expensive, inexpensive, or cheap. Everything has a con somewhere, and there is nothing that's perfect, okay? Just like cars. So, with that... If I rated this from a 1 to 10, I would give this as the way it sits right now, me personally, maybe a 5 or a 6. That's it. Why? The threading on the knurling on the top is too sharp and it does it and it's really gritty type feeling. The grittiness of the battery cap itself, the um, inability or their included burrow tank. It's trash. They lied on the paperwork what can fit inside, which I tried almost every bridge in there that they said could fit inside of it. And guess what? None of them did. Um, except for one. The bridged, which I have, and I end up putting it back into an original Boro. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So like I said, I'd give it a five, maybe a six at most. You know, for the fact that it can do side by side, it can do the Boro tanks and um, the original Boros, and it also has the USB and it's a DNA 60. Those are the only things. The DNA 60 is the biggest saving grace because if this was a Sebo 70, the 70 watt, you know, cheaper one, this thing probably would have went against the wall because it, it, it would have probably got like a two. So, with that, um, I hope you enjoyed the review today. Um, this is my personal opinions and thoughts on the Subbox Pro by SXK, and this is the Uncharted Vapor, and I'll catch you on the next review.